So music was just my way to be me unapologetically. Do what he do, what he do. Fat daddy. Back in the booth again. Uh, Mic in my face again. Hair falls on my head back. again. Yeah. Here we go. What's going on, people? Fat daddy, as you know, aka Quiet Storm. See you on the Unbreakable Cap. Go back and say, hey, Detroit got talent. It had some very early creative outlets. Uh, it all started on a trip to Georgia to a family reunion. My brother-in-law, he introduced me to basically creativity. He was showing me some, some music that him and his friends had made. And I was just listening to it like, you guys really did this? Y'all did it yourself? It just blew my mind. So growing up, my dad was a pastor. My mom was the first lady. And he has um, started his church, New Breed. And we didn't really have any musicians, so I taught myself how to play drums. <laughs> This was like right before I went to the army, so um, I started playing drums in the church then, and then just recording music at home. Then I got my little brothers recording music. I had my own room in the basement, and I built like this makeshift recording studio downstairs. And it was crazy because like the washer and dryer was like right next to it, when I had the speakers and everything hooked up. The little karaoke machine with the microphone hanging from the ceiling. And my mentors were pretty much my brother-in-law. Like when I was making music, I used to go. And, sit in the car with him and we would critique it, listen to it over and over and over again, see what I could have done differently. I got into recording because I wanted to hear my music like I heard my brother a lot of music, you know? So I, I couldn't really get beats because everybody wanted money for beats and I didn't really have any money. So I just taught myself how to play like the instruments. <laughs> everywhere so I used to just get the work there just to get the checks to focus on my music to buy buy equipment and things like that so I remember like the first taxes that I ever got so I went to a guitar center and just like brought everything and my I, I came home and my sister was like what in the world is all this stuff it was like boxes we had to have dollies and bring all this stuff in so I, so I got mixers and microphones and you know all this equipment so I stayed up all night all night next thing I know like with, with within a month like I had a whole CD done so I start selling the CDs out of the back of my Cadillac and I brought me some rims so we we riding around me and my boys like selling the CD out the back of my Cadillac and I was like getting paid on like I was really getting money like <laughs> Okay, so so I was doing my music and we were we were getting by, but we wasn't really rolling in the dough. So I got me a factory job to handle my day to day responsibilities, and that job just wasn't working for me. So I ended up stepping out on faith and starting my photography business. My view is of the world is just love um but at the same time it's complexity so sometimes in my world one plus one doesn't equal two and being able to take an image and capture it then being able to go and manipulate that picture into what i want it to be and then even putting music or a soundtrack behind it and, and making it move into video aspects is so important to me because like 
it's it's all it's always changing. Life is always changing. Life is always on the move, and it's not about where you go. Sometimes it's just about the journey. So I just love that journey of be creating something. I love being in front of the c computer, seeing something and thinking something and manipulating it to be that. So it's just it's crazy. I love it. What keeps you motivated to keep learning and progressing? My kids definitely keep me motivated. My son's mother passed away a couple of years ago, and I have him full time. And like being a, a single father full time, it's like it's so motivating because I want to show him and I want to show my daughter how to be independent, how not to focus on working a, uh, um, a nine to five sometimes might not be best for you. You know, go get an education and go, you know, don't don't just go to school. Try to excel in school. It's not, you know, it's, it's not about getting through. It's about succeeding and, you know, trying to be the best that you can be. And showing my kids that even at my age, you know what I'm saying, 37 years old, that, you know, dad can make it. You know, I got five cars, you know, I got my own business. I'm going to school full time. I'm still taking care of them, you know, and still holding down home, cook, clean, laundry. Oh, this dad does this, you know. And even though my daughter is able to go back home with her mom, but, but you know, but still spend time with me and be around her brother and, and see me doing that, it's not a lot of positive uh, male role models where I come from so being a positive male role model especially being black like it's very important to me to show them that you know it doesn't matter the, the, your, the color of your skin or where you come from it's all about you know you have to focus on what you want to be in life and drive towards that pursue that dream but if you have a goal or a dream it's very important to instill that in my kids like chase your dreams don't don't even let me tell you you can't do something you know focus and fight hard for it and to the grit you know and and push um i've got one last question what would you like your legacy to be i i, I would like my legacy to be something that can be long lasting i would like to leave something to my kids besides a bill you know, I want to leave them with businesses, homes, estate, you know, land. I want to leave them with gifts and talents that, you know, that that, that were theirs, but I, I want to be able to bring that out of them. I want people to say that, you know, I was uh, a loving person. I want people to say that I, I would literally get a shirt off my back. I've done it before, you know, and it's not about getting that exposure or getting that, you know, oh, I did this, I did that. It's just about helping people because a lot of people just need help. You know, everybody's not looking just to, you know, get over on people, you know, and like I learned that growing up because I couldn't get that help. So I would had to teach myself how to do all these different things. And I wasn't really able to own in on one single thing. But at the same time, I think that's a good thing because it allowed me to experience a lot of different things, meet a lot of different people and different entities of life. And I want my legacy to show that, that I wasn't put in a box. I love what I do. And I, and I just, I'm thankful and I'm grateful because I'm one of the people in life that's actually able to do something that they love.